if you ask people they will tell you that they love God the most but is the love of God mere lip service can we just claim to love God Islam's scripture the Quran informs us very clearly that the love of God has to be translated into good deeds you cannot claim to love God your claim is null and void if your actions do not display that if your actions are devoid of the deeds that God has commanded that you should do in life so the love of God is not mere lip service it has to be translated into actions into practical actions that you have to do in life the Quran informs us very clearly about the signs about the qualities of those who love God who have a love for Allah it is mentioned in Surah al dahr which is chapter number 76 and verses 8 and 9 Allah informs us about those people who love God who love Allah he says a'uzu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa yut'imuna ta'ama ala hubbihi miskinan wa yatiman wa asira and they feed for the love of Allah the indigent the orphan and the captive wa yut'imuna ta'ama and they give food and they feed ala hubbihi for the love of Allah the important word here is ala hubbihi for the love of Allah they give food to whom miskinan wa yatiman wa asira to the miskeen to the indigent to the poor person wa yatiman and the orphan wa asira and the captive so if you have the love of Allah then you will give food to the poor you will give food and you will give shelter to the orphan you will look after those in captivity and you will do this not just to get any reward from them or to get a pat on the back from them or to get praise of any sort you will do this only for the love of Allah for the sake of Allah the next verse says it identifies most surely we feed you for the sake of Allah alone La nuridu minkum jaza'an wa la shukura we desire from you neither any reward nor any thanks it is a very important ayah that if you are doing good deeds if you are feeding the poor if you are looking after the orphans then this is not to be a publicity stunt there are many people who do this sort of a thing and they want a very good photo shoot to become famous to get known for their piety so to speak but the Quranic criterion is very different the Quranic criterion is that the believer he feeds the poor he looks after the poor for Allah alone for the sake of Allah alone and they give food for the love of Allah miskinan wa yatiman wa asira to the miskeen to the indigent wa yatim and the orphan and the asir the one in captivity for the love of Allah you are doing it you are not doing it for any worldly reason this is not an advertisement you don't want a pat on the back and from them from the poor you ask no reward in return you ask not even thanks I don't want you to even thank me I don't want the thanks because I'm doing this for Allah for the love of Allah we feed you for the sake of Allah alone we do not want any reward from you we do not even want thanks from you 
So my dear listeners, if you love Allah, then give food to the poor people. Then look after the orphans. Look after those who are trapped in slavery. Free them from their captivity. If you love Allah, this is what it means to love Allah. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.